friends and happy vlogmas day 24 a very merry christmas eve and a merry christmas and a happy holidays to all of you that are watching this over the holiday season it is definitely surreal that it is christmas time but there is snow on the ground here in new york and as you guys know from yesterday the trip went well and that's all i could have asked for and now i'm surrounded by a bunch of cute kitty cats and soon enough another dog and yeah, I guess today will be a lot of prep work. Um, I'm in charge of Christmas Eve dinner, at least a majority of it. So we'll be cooking that together later for everyone. And then I need to wrap all of the gifts I brought with me and all the stuff I've been sending here. So I've got the stuff that safely came via my carry-on that turned into a checked because JetBlue no longer allows uh, carry-ons for certain tickets. And that was news to me. So I had to check two bags instead. And we have a little Missy here. Who wants to be, of course, part of... Okay, yep, that's a little close, but, you know, they get the idea. So, um, most of you haven't met this cat. She was actually a stray that came and um, my dad fed her and they thought she was going to have kittens, but that never happened. Or maybe she had them somewhere else and something bad happened. But my brother plans on taking her in once she's all checked up and make sure that no one owns her. Um, but we've named her Minnie Moo. I call her Miss Moo. Um, for short um, but she does have like a little mickey on her back which if she stays still i'll try to show you guys later but today's docket is wrapping i got a ton of stuff for a ton of people and christmas is tomorrow so we got a lot to do but for now the boys my dad and my brother just went to go get lunch this lady's jumping all over the place but i need to get to wrapping we got lots of wrapping paper i'll show you guys all the things um, we got stockings. I might put some of the gifts in some of the stockings. I haven't decided. Um, but yeah, overall, everything went well. The only thing I didn't finish in time, which a lot of you guys know that I've been working on, was the cross stitch, which maybe I can finish it and give it to him uh, closer to New Year's? Question mark. We'll see. But welcome to the, like, pivotal point of Vlogmas. I can hardly believe we're here, and I'm super excited to bring you guys along. So, Get ready for some wrapping today and of course this crazy, crazy cat. And we'll see where it takes us, but for now, um, waiting for lunch to get delivered from them. And then we'll be off to the races with wrapping. Ate a lovely lunch and then actually finished the Hot Zone Anthrax series that premiered during Thanksgiving time because we started it then and we didn't finish it, so we finished that today. And now it is time to wrap because I've got boxes and such a plenty. But let me show you the wrapping paper option so you can see what we're going to go for. I've got a lot to wrap because I haven't wrapped a single thing for my family members. Honestly, nothing like Christmas Eve wrapping, am I right? Normally way ahead of the game, but since I traveled this year for Christmas, had to put it off. But hopefully you enjoy some wrapping montages. But let's go see what wrapping paper I'll pick out this year and get it all situated. So since other people are also wrapping tonight, I don't have too many choices, but we've got like a little Santa and reindeer left, this fun one. We've got some of this like homemade sort of like crafty one, which I really like. Um, this red snowflake one, which is ginormous. Lots of little scraps I could use for some of the smaller gifts. This wreath one, honestly, is kind of in the front runner for me. I really like the traditional style of it. This is like one of those really fancy silver ones because it's like silver mirror. And then this one, which is like purpley blues and pinks. And then a bunch of name tags, which this has two left, so I should probably use these up. So I'm going to scrounge up some scraps, and then I think the rest of like the big ones are going to be in this fun wreath pattern. Yeah, there's lots of these different stickers, so we'll use some of those. And then these ones, we'll use what it, whatever fits on the package, but we got some options. And then even this like little bin full of some of them cute stuff. And this year I'm wrapping on my bed which should be interesting to say the least but all of these gifts are getting given tomorrow so I can at least show you guys a lot more of the wrapping experience this time around. Now when it comes to wrapping my method to the madness is to start with a large object first and then use those cutoffs to scrap to wrap the smaller ones. So I'll usually do like a large box gift then use the scrap to wrap something smaller and then keep going down the line in size. But since I do have a lot of scraps to already work with, I could really start wherever. Maybe I should start by organizing piles of gifts for each person. That way I don't have to worry about um, how many gifts I have for each one to make sure everything's covered. So let's start sorting the gifts and start there. We're only two gifts in, and my consensus so far is that don't use 
child size scissors. It probably makes the process a little bit faster. Also, don't buy people so many things if you don't want to wrap them. I usually enjoy wrapping, but my back already hurts. And like I said, we're two gifts in. But the wrapping shall continue because it is Christmas Eve and I'm running out of time. So let's dive back in. Also, you might be hearing Abby the dog with her new toy. Very squeaky. She's very excited about it. She got her Christmas gift early. Well, one of them. So we'll see what else uh, comes from that. But overall, I gotta get to wrapping. So let's do this. We're finishing it now. I'm gonna guess it'll take me an hour. Leave your comments down below. You guys kind of saw, I do have a ton of gifts. Like there's a ton of stuff everywhere. And I did have to change. I changed into my Mickey Santa shirt because it felt appropriate. So let's get you set up and let's dive back into it. Okay, so like I said, we're opening gifts tomorrow, so I can totally show you guys this, but I got my dad one of these uh, burlap boards, but I didn't want to just have a normal bulletin burlap board, but I bought a map because we've been to a lot of places in the U.S., and he has a world map, but the U.S. is harder to pin all the places we've been, so I got him specifically a world map so he can pin it, but I want to put it together because I, I can't return this. I could return the map if I had to, but like now this forces him to keep it and love it. Anyway, that's the plan. Hopefully you love it, dad, but the issue is this bulletin board is 23 by 35 and my map is 24 by 36 so I'm gonna have to fold it so let's craft this baby open and see what we can do let's hope it fits because so far I'm thinking it'll be a little awkward but it's the thought that counts okay got it all situated and I use a little tacks here, so here you can see like the fold line a little bit, but you know, it's okay, as long as it works. Another tack there, so one in each corner, of course, and I also notice it does have a little bit of Canada, of course Alaska, more Canada, and then some of Mexico, which is, oh, you know what, I should put another one down here just to keep it in line. Let me do that. And then overall, pretty happy with it. And it does have a lot of like, I don't know, like even here, has Zion National Park, has all the things that I wanted, you know. So let's add in another one, just in the ocean here. Oh gosh, there we go, perfect. And voila. And ready to hang. been over an hour but to be honest I'm exhausted and to be honest I'm in the home stretch I don't have that many more and to be honest I'm pretty sure I forgot a gift which it's not the end of the world I got something for everyone so that's the good news but the bad news is I know I forgot a gift so I'm gonna have to deal with that somehow maybe do like an IOU or something of the sort to make it you know kind of representative and it's moments like these you wish you had your craft supplies, but right now I'm taking a break. Because after this I need to cook dinner. So this was very poor timing on my part, because yes, I did have all day. And I waited till before dinner to expel all this wrapping energy. You'll live and you'll learn. Tomorrow morning's gonna be worth it, and that's all I gotta remember. And it's always worth it, every single time. And hopefully you guys are having fun celebrating your holidays if you're watching this during them or you had a lovely, healthy holiday before. I gotta get these out of the way. But we're in the home stretch and it's time to continue. And as you can tell, my room is a wreck because it's kind of like a storage closet when I'm not here, which is more often than not. But let's head back in and finish this wrapping for Christmas 2021. We ended up giving ourselves a little helper. This is Minnie Moo, as I call her, Miss Moo. And as many of you guys might already know, this is a stray cat that my uh, dad had fed and just kept coming back. We ended up, I called her Moo for a long time, but we ended up seeing that on her back is actually a Mickey Mouse there. And um, clearly she doesn't want to help anymore, but um, when we pulled that, we decided Minnie Moo would be a good fit. So she's here helping me. Still trying to get along with the other cats, so. 
she's a little standoffish with them. So we'll see. But my brother wants to um, adopt her if she's clear at the vet and doesn't belong to anybody. But the appointments were super far out, obviously. So she's going to help me finish out. I have one, two, two gifts left for tomorrow specifically. And then hopefully that's it because I'm tired of wrapping. And then again, got to start dinner soon because it has been almost two hours probably since I started. Come here. You don't want to come here? She loves pets. She loves them. And there she goes. But now she's going to help me, which is very sweet of her. So sweet. You're such a sweet girl. Yeah, there you are. There she goes again. She doesn't stop moving very often. She likes to run around and uh, get pets. You purr in. She's happy. Okay, let's finish up wrapping now. The final gifts coming to a close. We are wrapping the final gift of, at least for tomorrow. We shall see if any more come to fruition later after Christmas when I go see some of my friends. But for now... This will be the last one. I hope. Unless I've forgotten something. Overall, not too bad. I really like this wrapping paper, so that's good news. I've wrapped some years with paper I've hated, whether it be too thick or too thin, and just ripping all the time. This one wasn't too bad, especially for a brand new roll that I've never worked with before. I think I wrapped, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, probably close to 20 gifts, some of which were much more work than others, as you guys saw with the map, for example. And of course, with the distractions. I just had a cat sleeping up here for far too long, where I couldn't wrap at all. But that's just part of the process. Take that into place. Take this into place. And we did it. Last one's wrapped. Just needs a label. We'll pick this ornament one. There we go. And we did it. It's finally done. The last one. So I'll be placing these out tomorrow morning for everyone to unwrap. But at least it's done. Conquered them all. And now it's time to start dinner, which I'm super excited to eat. Now that the evening's finally winding down, we watched a few movies together and then just some like normal TV and some like Christmas specials and then we're now all heading to bed because it's Christmas Eve and tomorrow's the big day. The gift exchange, the good food, all of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on my wrapping journey and we'll see where it takes us. But 
My back doesn't hurt anymore, so that's good. After a few hours of just relaxing, my back doesn't hurt from the wrapping or the cooking. But Christmas Eve dinner was a success. We did, as you guys saw, buttered egg noodles and chicken, and it was delicious. And there's leftovers for me for Christmas, which is perfect. And then Christmas, my brother's doing most of it, so we kind of tag teamed, having one day for each of us. And then, yeah, I can't believe it's Christmas already. I know Vlogmas has really flown by, but I hope you guys stay tuned for the next one because it's going to be the most magical of course so definitely stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on day 25 of vlogmas but i hope you guys have enjoyed because i've enjoyed bringing you along and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up because it helped me out a lot and it is free uh same with subscribing it is free so you can just subscribe and you won't miss out tomorrow's one and yeah i can't believe vlogmas is almost over but i hope you guys have enjoyed the whole process with me it's definitely so much fun to do and something different than i normally do but i think it's just so nice to be able to share these holiday memories and to have them for me and my family and just keep them forever but thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow happy holidays and merry christmas